Good morning folks. Wanted to quickly update your sunset sky. For those with a scope lucky enough to have a clear view of the planets, you might also consider catching ice on at the red indicator. Galeris Volcano imagery from above. Hmm. Upgrades. This is the power of microwave imaging to reveal fine detail from afar. Long-term macro-level U.S. precipitation update. The worst drought zones from last year have abated a bit, while the dry conditions shift further west and southwest and are expected to get even worse than some areas did in 2012. Had a couple moderate tremors yesterday, but the most interesting of the past 24 hours hit the UK. Got readings from 3.9 to 4.5. This magnitude of quaking only happens once every few years, with larger quakes being even less common. Sticking with the RSOE, the Beaver Valley nuclear plant had reactor number two shut down due to malfunction and unusual mechanical vibration. There is no word on a restart. They have named Tropical Storm Barbara down at the southern edge where Mexico meets Central America, which is already getting deluged on in their own right. Same high pressure between New Zealand and Australia. Bay of Bengal coastline appears to remain atmospherically unstable. Latest cresting band is spread from Alaska down the Rocky Mountains and on the left, you will see last night's convergence popping up storms in a line. This dropped yet another tornado yesterday. There are buildings down. Flash flooding accompanies these storms, and I do expect that to continue tonight with yet another convergence set to make a huge watch zone. They tend to change this mid-afternoon, so please stay alert. Another gamma burst came in yesterday from way up in Celestial North, Ursa Minor. Earth's primary magnetic connection to the Sun is near an active region on the northwest quadrant, along with the rest of the connectivity you see on the right. We are not terribly concerned, however, because flaring is low. It's because what crested as monster sunspots have decayed and faded into almost nothing. At this point, we're focused on some pitiful-looking new active regions. The north is especially disappointing. But as has been the case, the solar wind telemetry makes up for the X-ray flux. That coronal hole stream is finally dying down with the density at the floor and speed finally under 600 kilometers per second. Magnetic disturbance is minor, especially if you look at the last full week and see where we just were. Unfortunately, the electron storm is continuing. Quick note, when this chart drops, the event is not quite over. That energy is going to be integrated into the Earth system, which is why such flux is often a secondary quake factor to our primary coronal holes. Is this thing Earth-facing yet? Well, if we flatten, look at the black plus sign on the left side of the red opening about to hit the blue umbral fields. We'll speed through to now. Reveal that we are not quite there, and we may even need to wait a skosh longer as the field may not connect at the very edge of the coronal hole. Looking at the bottom line, it's Noah's Enlil spiral. You will see orange spewing forth and about to hit Earth. Right side indicates it's three or four days away, which is about how long it takes that speedy solar wind forced out directly from an Earth-facing corona hole to make it out this far. Shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.